What's up guys, it's Tobias here and welcome back to another episode of Pack to the Future today. We're going to be doing something that we've not done in Pack to the Future so far this year. As you guys will be able to tell from the title and the thumbnail, uh, today we're going to be completing the La Liga Santander, the Spanish League, League SBC. Now as you can see there, we've already completed 19 uh, out of the total 20 chapters. We only have one more squad to submit, which we already have completed. I just need to hit the submit button and then we can choose the uh, the player that we're going to be taking for completing that which you can see here we've got Aspas, Casemiro and Umtiti we're going to be taking Casemiro but the reason we're going to be doing this today guys as you can see here I have saved every single pack um, that we that you get in return for completing all of the uh, 12 20 or the 19 that I've already done uh, segments in the La Liga Santander League SBC. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to head over back to the SBC. We're going to submit that final squad. Uh, we're going to take... Casemiro. I'm going to explain why we're taking Casemiro as well when it gives us the option. This is actually one of the most expensive. Uh, I believe there's two La Liga squads that are fairly expensive. And the reason they're so expensive is because the majority of the squad is silver. Um, a lot of these players are very, very expensive. So we can submit that there. <clears throat> that is squad number 20. And that is, for the first time in Pact of the Future, the La Liga Santander League SBC complete. Now it's repeatable, uh, so we can do it over and over and over again. Take the other players, take Duplicate, Casemiro. Uh, if, you, if we use Casemiro in an SBC, you can take Casemiro again for technically the first time. Um, so, here we can see the player pick. We now get to choose um, from Aspas, uh, Casemiro and Umtiti. Um, the reason I'm not taking Aspas is that I think... Um, for the stage of the game that we're in, uh, you know, we're going into March now. Uh, team of the season is uh, approaching very, very quickly. I, th I don't think this Aspas card is great at all. Um, high, high, three star, three star. I, I don't actually need to look at anything else besides that. Five, nine, high, high, uh, three star, three star of only 85 pace. For me, uh, that is a no go. Maybe better as a cam in behind the strikers, but three star, three star, not for me. Up, up next then we've got Umtiti from Barcelona. He's not very tall. <clears throat> I do like quite tall centre-backs. Uh, he's only six foot, which in my opinion is quite small for a centre-back. His in-game stats, however, don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. However, <clears throat> pardon me, we are currently rocking uh, foot champs reward 91 Van Dijk. And we're also rocking flashback David Luiz. Uh, for me, they're, they're sensational. They're absolutely sensational. And for me, that Umtiti card doesn't come close to flashback David Luiz or foot champ rewards Van Dyke. So that's why I'm not going with him. Um, and not to mention, guys, the rating here is important because if you're going to be using this to throw into SBCs, if you're going to be using it to help out with uh, Icon, uh, which we're going to be doing, we're actually probably going to be throwing Casemiro, who we're going to be taking uh, into Patrick Vieira's uh, Prime Icon SBC, which is the next upgrade I want to be making. Um, now, Casemiro could actually fit into the squad. So we're going to be taking Casemiro. Uh, let's just have a look at his stats really quickly. 90 rated, slow, which is the first thing I don't like. Medium high, 6 foot 1. So he's not a giant at 6 foot 1. He's only 1 inch taller than Umtiti. Um, medium high, perfect work rates for a CDM. 3 star weak foot. We're currently rocking Lerma, who's got 4 star weak foot. However, looking at his in-game stats, guys. Physical's nice. 88 stamina, 91 strength. Defending's good. Reactions are nice. Ball control's not too bad. 88 composure, 88 short passing, 85 long passing, um, 93 shot power and 85 long shots. So he's actually from outside of the box, just like uh, Frank Rijkaard. Uh, he's actually got quite a foot on him from as long as you're outside of the box. As well as that, guys, as well as that, another reason as to why I did want to take this Casemiro over anybody else is because we have quite a few Brazilian players now in the squad which does actually mean that if we throw him in instead of Lerma, swap him around with Fabinho, and to get Casemiro onto full chem, we would have to start Felipe Anderson, which we have done for 187 games now. That does get Casemiro full chem. He's getting chemistry from all the Brazilians, Felipe Anderson, Fabinho, David Luiz, and a fairly new addition to the squad, 
Alexandro. Um, now, in game, obviously, he would play the role that Lerma has done for 300, 357 games. Um, comparing the stats between the two of them, Casemiro does have much better in-game stats. There's two downsides to him that I don't like. Um, three downsides to him I don't like. Uh, he's got three-star weak foot. Uh, as I mentioned there, Lerma has four. Um, he's much taller. Casemiro is much taller, which is absolutely brilliant. He's not doesn't have the stamina that Lerma has. That's one thing that I've absolutely loved about that Lerma card in almost 400 games for us. His stamina has been absolutely sensational. That said, Casemiro's is 88. That isn't by any means bad. Um, and another thing that I don't like compared to the Lerma card is the agility and the balance. Uh, Casemiro's there, 65 agility and 69 balance. Uh, Lerma's is much higher. However, overall, um, oh wait, I just I've just realised. Because we've now brought in George Best, we don't actually need... We could, we could literally just start him there. He gets full chem. That was silly of me. I completely forgot we brought in George Best, uh, which means we don't actually have to start him on the left. We can actually start him in the middle. Um, so, I think that is how we're going to be t rocking him in today's episode when we jump into a game, just to see if he is an improvement to our midfield. Um... For Lerma. Now, as I did mention, guys, I, I want to try and get Patrick Vieira done ASAP. Um, and regardless of whether we stick with Lerma or go with the new Casemiro, uh, we are going to be putting, obviously, prime icon Patrick Vieira, uh, one of the best CDMs in the game, in that CDM spot. So, next then, guys, we've got 20 packs here. Some good, not some not so good. Uh, every single one of these have been from the squads that I completed off camera. Uh, we're going to open all of these now, and we're basically going to see, can we get anything decent? I'm hoping for at least one walkout. Uh, I did, we're starting off the board. Fantastic stuff. Mandzukic. That's not too bad at all. Um... 84 rated striker uh, will help with SBCs. I think he's a duplicate, but we should be able to. These are tradable as well, guys. So you can actually uh, sell them or send them to the transfer list, uh, waiting patiently for uh, their fate to be decided. Starting off then with an 84, that isn't too bad in the slightest. Now, as I was saying, we, we did this the other day on stream. Uh, for the Premier League. I've completed 19 out of the 20 for the Premier League. I'm just waiting to do Cardiff because it's quite expensive. We didn't get a single walkout. So if I didn't get a single walkout from these 20 packs here, I would be a little bit gutted. Um, now, as I am trying to um, complete every league SBC available, uh, I am... We, we should be getting a lot of players that aren't duplicates because I've, I've completed a wide variety of the league SBCs right now. Another board here. Uh, a lot of the Premier League players shouldn't be duplicates. Hey, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend in the series. Felipe Anderson. Another 84 rated player. And we're only three packs in. That isn't too bad at all. And uh, as you can see here, Loftus-Cheek. Uh, Non-duplicate. Hogg. Non-duplicate. Ward. Non-duplicate. Non a lot of Prem players there. Non-duplicates. As I have uh, recently just thrown in every single Prem player into their... Into the Prem League SBC, which we're going to be, as I mentioned, guys, it's repeatable. So we are going to be doing this over and over. Is that another board? Oh, I thought that was a board. That was a troll. Uh, we're going to be rinse and repeating the League SBCs. That isn't too bad at all, actually. An 82 rated Forenzi. Um, in the grind, hopefully, to try and get something decent from these packs. Now, as you can see, we are getting a lot of non duplicates, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I will discard the rare few duplicates that we do get. Still waiting for our first. Is that another board? It's an inform. Brilliant. Massive profit has been made there. I don't know who this is. Oh, it's Rafa. We've already packed him this week. 82 rated inform. Tradable. That's very, very nice. So if you were doing this on a first owner, like an RTG or something like that, you've just made really, really nice profit there. Um, he is going for 15,000 coins, which even some of the teams don't actually cost 15,000 coins. So that is very, very nice. Some of, the, uh, some of the SBCs that we're doing that do require Team of the Week players. Uh, Rafa will come in useful for us there. Continuing on then. Wow, what is this? We're getting board after board after board after board. Brilliant stuff. Daniel De Rossi, 83. It's only an 83. But as long as we're getting boards, guys, I'm happy here. That is very nice indeed. 
Uh, Sinclair, Rossi. They're rares, so I'll keep them. We may have to get rid of them, though. We've only got eight more spots available from these 14 packs. Come on here, give us a walkout. Still waiting for that first walkout. Another board. This is prime. This is perfectly showing how this is worth grinding League SBCs. We've had like two packs that haven't been bored so far, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, very nice. Uh, Batch Y coming in there as a duplicate. We'll keep him as we're, we're going to be redoing the uh, Crystal Palace squad. I, I, knew, I knew the board run was going to come to an end. 79 rated. Now, I do have a lot of... I'm going to do this video again, guys, but for another league. So this video today is going to be dedicated for the La Liga, obviously. Uh, if you guys enjoy this, I am going to do it again. Um, and we're going to do it for a different league. So if there's a league that you guys would like to see us do to see, you know, what kind of packs you get back, what pack lock we're going to get from these packs. It's another board. Fantastic stuff. Savage. Decent. Atletico Madrid, I th think... Oh, no, wait. We've literally just... What am I talking about? I'm still in the mindset I was in last night where I was trying to think which squads I have and haven't submitted in the La Liga SBC. But we'll keep him because we're going to be doing the La Liga SBC again. Uh, probably going to be taking Umtiti if we haven't used Casemiro. If we have used Casemiro, he's the highest rated, so I'll, I'll just take him again. Uh, Pereira there then from Leicester shouldn't be a duplicate as we have recently uh, rinsed through our Prem players. But it's always good as well, guys, to try and keep hold of as many first walkout. Be blue. Not blue. Who are we getting here? Brazilian. CDM. 87. He's been upgraded in January. 87 rated Fernandinho. Very, very nice indeed. Now, we actually used his 80. I think we used his 87 during. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Wow. What a pack that is. Look at that. An 87 and 85 in one pack. Brilliant stuff. That is going to help us massively, guys, with completing Patrick Vieira. Very, very nice indeed. Let's just have a look at their value. So you're picking up 30,000 coins for Fernandinho there if we did want to sell him, which we're not in the in the concept of Pack to the Future. Um, but Alaba also, what we said, 20,000 coins? 50,000 coins there, guys, back from one pack. 50,000 coins back from one pack there. Absolutely brilliant. The only bad news is we only have one more spot available in the uh, in the trade pile. Uh, right, there. I, I wanted one walkout, guys. We've had the walkout. It was a very good pack as well, an 87 and... Sigurdsson. He's just helped Everton absolutely annihilate Manchester United, but I'll try and... Uh, I'd, for, for professional purposes and for video reasons, I'll try and stay as professional as possible and let that one slide. A mega pack now. No walkout from the mega pack. Uh, no board from the mega pack. Okay, that's a little bit rough. Top rack, 82 rated from the Bundesliga uh, from Dortmund. Would have been nice if we could have got... All right, we'll keep him. We'll keep him. I might have to get rid of some of the low-rated players that I stored. Uh, not to mention, guys, looking at the coin value I am getting for all the discards here as well. Oh, Kalinoglu. Thought, we'll, thought we were going to be getting back-to-back -back top racks there. Um, Syria. Decent. Get rid of those non-rares. Six more packs to go, guys, before we finish the La Liga Santander League SPC. Man, where's the, where's the lot gone? Where's all our boards gone? Remain Defoe. Come on. Give me one more walkout. One more walkout. Uh, oh, he's from the he's from the he's from the Bundesliga. It's not actually. Uh, I mean. There's only a handful of them on the market, so maybe. I mean, that one there is very cheap. If that one got picked up, you might be able to sell him for about 3,000 coins. Uh, what's that guy? From, uh, Swedish League, German, German. All right, okay. We'll 
just got Jermaine Defoe as well. I think three more packs, is it? Oh, wait, five more packs. I thought we had gone through more than that already. Um, oh, I want another. I want one more. I'm being greedy. There's a board. There's a board. That's what we're looking for. Can it be an 85? Angel Di Maria? It's an 84. It's not an 85, but it's an 84. I think he's going to be a duplicate. I think he's going to be a duplicate. Juan Fran, he is. Um, who did I keep that was low rated? Uh, it's got to be someone lower rated than Pedro. Maya, him, 75. Right, Angel Di Maria. He is a duplicate, guys. It's just a, uh, that glitch that's still around that says he isn't. Right, four more packs. Prime Electrum player pack here. No walkout. Board again. We've had a board in the majority of these packs. Timo Werner, very nice indeed. 84 rated. Timo from the Bundesliga. Very nice. I don't know how much he's actually valued at. Uh, he is a duplicate, so we're going we're gonna to keep him as well. Uh, it's, it's like another 6,000 coins there. Uh, it's got to be someone under 80 rated that I kept. Who's Ryan? Who's going to be cheaper out of the two? All right, he's 800 coins. All right, we'll get rid of Ryan. And we'll keep Timo Werner. I think we're now at three packs left. Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, a rare mixed player pack there at the end as well. No walkout here. No board this time as well, unfortunately. Overall, I'm happy with the pack luck here. We, we, we've only had one walkout. One player 86 or higher rated. Um, but we've had boards in the majority of packs. Come on, two more to go. No walkout. No board. That took ages to show me who it was. Berkey from Dortmund again. One more pack to go, guys, before we've opened all 20 from La Liga. Uh, Hernandez in there, who will help us recomplete. How much is he? Oh, wait, he'll be a fortune. Oh, let's go. We've hit the silver jackpot there, guys. We've hit the silver jackpot. We could list him. If this was a first owner R RTG, um, we could sell him for easily over 5,000 coins. Look, there's only five of him on the market, and you have to pick him up. I, I think that was that was the, the squad that you guys just saw me submit, the, the, the 20th squad, because uh, he was so expensive. Uh, he's also from League 1. Uh, you'll get about one and a half thousand coins back for him. Uh, I'll discard those two. Um, and then finally, guys, last pack. Pack number 20. No walkouts. We've had one walkout, guys. Ah, oh, we're not ending on a board, unfortunately, either. We've had one walkout, guys, but we've had another eight... What, we had an 87, an 85, a bunch load of 83s and 4s. And we're ending on a Martinez. Again, I think he's going to be a duplicate, but it's another player... Um, that helps us towards completing a league SBC for um, uh, for the MLS, which is very cheap. So we are actually going to discard him. Overall, though, guys, overall, I think we had a pretty decent return from that. Now, if we go back to the league SBC later on in the future, maybe when we've received a bit few more packs into the account uh, through grinding the weekend league, uh, we will be able to do this all over again and do that again. So uh, overall, that was a worth return. Here it is then, guys. This is the squad we're going to be using. I think we're only going to... Those packs lasted a bit longer than I thought they would. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to play the one game. If it's if it's nearly, if, if touch wood, we, we, this is for our eighth game now uh, and for our eighth win. So we're on good form. If it's an early rage quit, which I've crossed my fingers, we can get an early rage quit. Um, we um, actually, I really do want to start Sane. I'm not going to lie, but I don't. Um, do you know what we can do? Do you know what we can do? 
I, I don't know if this is a risk here. I think I'm going to do that. Oh no, because it still gets... Um, there probably is a way to get, and then we're actually getting Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro is getting Carvajal full chem. But, there must be... Alright, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's not change... Let's not let's not do anything silly uh, going into our next game. So we'll, we'll stick as it. The only reason why I wanted to change something around there, guys, is because I wanted to start Sane. I really do like him. We'll, we'll, we'll use him as a super sub. That's absolutely fine. We'll start him as a super sub and we'll put Felipe Anderson as our as our cam and start Rashford up front with George Best. So that is the squad, guys, that we're going to be rocking for this next game of Foot Champs. We've brought in the new League SBC, Casemiro. Let's see if he's an improvement or a downgrade to Lerma in that CDM spot. Someone did point out to me in the, the chat of the stream, don't change a winning formula, which is very, very true on FIFA. I don't ever think you should change a winning formula, but I do want to test out on the opposite side of the coin. On the flip side, I want to see I want to see if Casemiro is an upgrade because even though I've loved this Lerma card, it is the card that n needs upgrading next in this squad. So anyway, without further ado, guys, let's jump into the game of Foot Champs. Let's check out our opponent's squad. Let's see who our opponent has in his squad then. Oh, it's got Cristiano Ronaldo, Rudiger, Fanta Laporte. He's got the weekly objective Boateng. His left back is absolutely tragic. It's a decent squad. I'm scared. I'm scared of that attack. I am scared of that attack. If we get this, this will be our ninth, eighth win in a row. How is that going? I don't understand how that's going over. I, I really don't understand how shots like that. It's a simple finesse with a prime icon moment player and it goes over the bar. Come on, George Best. Come on! I thought he was pushed off the ball there. I thought he pushed off, got pushed off the ball, but... I mean, was it good strength or was it just lucky? Probably a bit of both. Oh, it's across the... Oh, are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me! He does hit the crossbar twice in the matter of seconds. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. How's David De Gea catching all these finesses? These should be going in, and I can tell I'm going to be punished at some point in this game for missing all these chances. Come on, George Best. Come on! There it is! We've waited absolutely ages for that second goal. George Best on the score sheet. Wait, who scored our first goal? That's awkward. Look at that, he's one lost the ball back from kickoff as well. Come on. How's that going straight at David De Gea? How is that going straight at David De Gea? My finishing's been awful in this fight. Oh, oh! What a header from Van Dijk. I actually thought that had locked on. I actually thought that had locked on to uh, George Best. I think we've got a rage quit coming in here. Oh, no, he's not rage quitting. Okay, let me see how he's lining up in game. So I've got a feeling. Oh, well, that's really awkward. Right. He has rage quit. He has rage quit. Let's go. 3-0, guys. There you can see we absolutely dominated that. 96% pass accuracy, 63% possession, 12 shots. Only managed to bury three of them, though. A fantastic header from Van Dijk. And now that is us up into eight wins out of eight. Let's go and put up those packs. Good news, guys. Uh, with that... 6-0 rage quit. There are actually 100k packs available. Uh, so we might be able to get one of the team of the group stage players. But first of all then, we are going to open up the six packs for the goals and the rage quit. We need to try and keep as many of these players as possible uh, just to help us out of all these league SBCs. So I'm actually keeping my eye out for French league players. Um, that is the next, I think that's the next league we're going to be focusing on. We're going to get uh, League 1 complete. So any non-duplicate League 1 players are welcomed with open arms. Uh, a few Bundesliga players in there. Pack number two. Come on. Give me, give me the League 1 players. I thought that was a board for a second. 
Pack number two is giving us a uh, La Liga player, which we, we will do again. So we should really not have too many La Liga players. Are they from the same? Oh, yeah, they're from the same club. We shouldn't have too many um, La Liga players in the club after rinsing that league SBC today. Uh, pack number three then. This is the Van Dyke header. We are going to be getting ourselves a German cam named... Oh, actually, do we have him already? Anything that's not a duplicate basically right now is, is very, very welcomed. Which he isn't. Fantastic. And some Premier League players in there. Right, we now get the three packs for the Rage Quit guys. Uh, the, our opponent decided to Rage Quit at 3-0. Giving us an extra all board. Come on, be an 85 for us, baby. Give us something good. I mean, that works. I think we did submit him in the Chelsea team uh, a couple of streams ago uh, in the League SBC. So if we could... Yeah, okay. Very nice. Thank you very much. Second pack for the Rage Quit. I'm, I'm really hoping we can get something decent in the 100k pack today. Oh, I thought that was back-to-back -back boards, boards then. I just got trolled heavy. Bundesliga again. And then, last but not least, pack number six, we are getting a... Come on. Give us something decent. Walkout. No walkout. Board, maybe. It is a board. <laughs> ask and you shall receive. Even though we asked for a walkout, we didn't get a walkout. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't think we... I think we recently used him in SBC. I may be wrong saying that, though. 83 rated Oscar. Oh, we are wrong saying that. Okay. Um, and I need to get rid of oh, Maya. We'll get rid of Maya. We'll keep him. Um, right. Okay. So that is the six packs open for the three goals and the rage quit. As we did win that six nil, we do get a 100k pack. Can we get a walkout? Can we get a team of the knockout stage? We don't even got a walkout. Wow, that's two 100k packs in a row without a walkout. That's rough. Can we get an 85? Fabinho. No, we've just got... Oh, we did get an 85. Uh, we just got Oscar, and now we have his teammate Paulinho. Paulinho. Ex-Spurs. Don't know what Spurs did get rid of, getting rid of him. Same with Dembele, to be fair. Uh, very nice indeed. Socrates and Rodrigo in there as well. I'll tell you what, guys. That isn't too bad at all. An 85 and two 84s. I'll take that. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to get rid of... I just saw someone below 80 rated. One, two. And we'll keep Socrates and Rodrigo. We... Okay. It wouldn't let me keep him. But... That, unfortunately, guys. I was going to play another game. But I think I'm going to leave it there. Because it's been quite a long episode already. That is where we are going to leave it for today's episode. Now, if you do want me to see me do, um, what I have just been doing just before I played that Foot Champs game is I've started uh, a lot of these are ready to submit. Um, but I have started the League Un League SBC. I think we might do that for tomorrow's video. We did La Liga today and it, it paid off fairly well. The rewards are... I mean, I, I wouldn't mind that Depay. I wouldn't mind that Depay at all. All that Rabia, actually. Both, actually, all three of those cards aren't actually too bad. But that, guys, is going to wrap things up for this episode of Pack to the Future. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to us later. Take care.